trying the lipstick from Lipstick Queen and it's called Black Lace Rabbit. It cost $24 and I got it off of Ulta. It is supposed to be a lipstick that you can either wear alone or you can put over other lipsticks to change the color. I'm going to go ahead and read what I saw on the Ulta website. This mysterious black lipstick is like stockings, hugging and accentuating the curves of your mouth for a fuller looking lip. It's so sheer that it has the effect of wearing black lace on your lips. Worn alone, it casts a smoky veil over your lips' natural color. Worn over another full coverage lipstick, it transforms the color into a sexier, smokier version. The gold flecks in the lipstick makes, makes it look like the lips are bathed in black candlelight for a romantic color that is flattering and subtle. Packed with nourishing ingredients like shea butter, vitamin E, and black soybean, the formula is conditioning and comfortable. Welcome to an altered universe of new beauty. Sounds very, very interesting. Um, I haven't opened up the box yet, so I'm going to go ahead and do it right now. This is what the box looks like. It's pretty, that lace printing all over it. Comes like this. Stick me, it has like a lace, printed lace on the outside. It's very pretty. Okay, let's open it up and see what it looks like. I don't know if you can see the flecks in there, but there's some gold flecks. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna swatch it on my lips, just as is. The only thing I have on my lips right now is some um, lip balm, and then after that, I am going to go ahead and try on five other colors from light to a darker, and I'll show you all the swatches that I'm gonna be using. But let's try this on, just swatched one time. When I'm putting it on, I don't really, I see a little bit on there, but I'm not sure if me putting on a lip balm prior to this is doing something to it. Um, let me do a little bit more of a close up so you can see. I mean, I, it's pretty sheer. It does say that it is sheer. Okay, so what I'm going to go ahead and do is um, take this off and then we're going to go ahead and um, overlay it over other colors. I decided to give this lipstick a fair chance. So what I'm going to do is, um, the first time I did it with the balm, um, I just automatically put the balm on because I wear a lot of uh, liquid lipsticks. So it's just an automatic thing for me to do every single day. I'm going to do it without the balm just to give this a fair chance. Here's what it looks like without balm underneath. It's pretty patchy. Here's a close-up. These are the colors I will be using. The first one is Stila All Day Liquid Lipstick in Bellissima. The second one is the Kat Von D Studded Lip Kiss in Magic. The third one is the Maybelline Vivid Matte Liquid Lipstick in Berry Boost. The fourth one is the Sephora Cream Lip Stain in Always Red. And the last one is uh, Metallic. It's a Midlani Amore Metallics Lip Cream in Cinematic Kiss. I'm doing that one last because metallics are very hard to take off. Okay, now I have nothing else on my lips. I didn't even put any lip balm, just thinking that maybe me putting on lip balm kind of uh, made it so it was really super sheer. But I'm gonna try the first color and then put over the, with the Lipstick Queen lipstick over it so you can see if it does, you know, give it some kind of a smoky look to it. I'm trying lighter colors to darker colors. The first color I'm gonna try is the Stay La Stay All Day Lipstick in Bellissima. I need to warn you that this lipstick, I, I love the color and everything. It's just, I have such a hard time wearing it just putting it on. Um, 
I don't know what it is about the formula. I, I actually, I don't think it's the formula. I just think it's just the light color. Any kind of light color like this, I have such a hard time putting it on. See what I mean? It's so patchy. I look like a clown. Here's a close-up of the Bellissima without anything on it. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put the back lace wrap it over and see what it looks like. As I'm putting the black lace rabbit on top, I feel like, and I can actually see it, swiping off the bottom layer of the lipstick. See it? Here's a close-up. is Kat Von D Studded Kiss Lipstick in the color Magic. And this is just a normal tube lipstick. Here's a close-up of the Kat Von D without anything on it. Let's go ahead and put on the black lace. Okay, it did change the color a little bit. It's a little smokier. Okay, on to the next color. The next color is we're going more towards the darker range. It's the Liveline Vivid Matte Lipstick in Berry Boost. I notice while I'm putting this lipstick on, there's a residue on my lips that has like little glitter. I guess it's that gold flex um, from the Lipstick Queen lipstick, it's still stuck on my lip. I'm sorry, I try to do it as perfect as possible. It's hard to do without a lip liner. Okay, let's try the black lace. It definitely makes it darker, but when I put it on my lips, I just feel like it's moving around the bottom lip. Anyway, here's a close-up. The fourth lipstick I'm going to try is the Sephora Cream Lip Stain in Always Red. Let's go ahead and put the black lace on. I think the red is the best one. It kind of vamps up the color. Here it is close up. It definitely makes it a smokier tone. The final one that I'll be doing is the Melania Moore Metallics and Cinematic Kiss. I did this one last because metallics are so hard to take off of your lips. I like Milani lip creams, it's just the smell is so intense. It's this fruity, sweet smell that it's just so intense for me. I'm trying not to breathe. Okay, let's go ahead and add on the black lace and see what happens. I think I like this one the best. My final thoughts on the Lipstick Queen Black Lace Rabbit Lipstick. 
is that when applied alone, it has a nice moisturizing feel to it. It goes on a little patchy for something so sheer. When applied to lipsticks that don't dry down well, it tends to slip and slide all over the place. When applied to lipsticks that dry down matte, it does fairly better. The color payoff is not worth the $24 spent on this product. I feel like this is just a tinted lip balm and not a lipstick. Thank you for watching my video and I hope it helped you in your decision on buying this product. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and please don't forget to subscribe. If you have any comments, go ahead and write them below. And always remember, age is just a number. Till next time, bye.